well. It is a glorious day. It is a Saturday and today I'm going to be moving the boat with my lovely friend George. Always good to do engine checks before doing a bit of a journey. On a second have you subscribed to the channel you better subscribe right this second otherwise you're not watching the rest of this video why I order I think it's this side could be this side but there's a little tiny square that looks like a little triangle thing in the corner hit that button now go on I'm waiting <laughs> As always, I want to personally thank Carol and Karen for your donations. You ladies are incredible and I thank you and I love you and namaste to you too. <laughs> From the other direction and there is also a really really tight gap that I need to go through so in order so I don't smash the boat and smash into these other people I'm having to slow down when maneuvering it can be really tricky to slow down and stay straight so I've grabbed hold of this boat that's moored and I'm slowing us down this way <laughs> it worked pretty well wait, wait, wait. They're chasing us they're chasing us <laughs> this is what happens when the trees <laughs> hit your roof. <laughs> We're moored up in Banbury. Now for some water, some rubbish removal. Let's do it. Magic key that lets you into all the locks and rubbish removal. Magic, magic. <laughs> When I lived aboard the boat with my ex, we would need to fill up about every two to three weeks. Now the water lasts about six weeks, but then again, I am ridiculously frugal with water. Um, what I mean by frugal is about two showers a week. I do keep clean, guys, promise. I wash up in dirty water, and I also don't spend all day, every day on the boat. <laughs> Confessions of a boater. There's this really great map app that shows you where the water points, rubbish disposal, toilet waste, gas and diesel service points are, which is really useful when you plan your next move.
I've never ever been so close <laughs> mooring before. This is, uh, yeah, this is like a, almost doesn't fit. But, hey, the sun is setting, it is time for dinner. Girls gotta eat. <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> hey, YouTube friends. It's May here, gonna move the boat, get some water today, as the Kiwis say. Um, I'm gonna clean out my deck because I got so much crap on my deck. I got uh, kindling, coal, I got some plant materials on my deck and it just all needs to get cleared up so I can, uh, yeah, you know, move around safely on my deck. <laughs> yeah, nah, choice. Sweet ass, bro. Yeah, sweet ass. All right, I'm gonna go do that now. Yeah, sweet ass. Officially no trip hazards, love. So yeah, engine's not working. <laughs> There's nothing turning over. There's no starter motor sound at all. Now the thing is with my predicament right now is that being on my own on the boat and having these things happen, it's like timing. So I have a job, I have shit to do, I've got weather to contend with, and I can't move the boat when it's windy. So I really do need to get to that water point today. And then if I can get to that water point, then I can just moor up and sort this engine issue out another time because it's not the end of the world. Um, and go get a new battery, blah, blah, blah. So I need to figure out a way to get to the water point today. I'm gonna ask some people if they could help me. Let's see how the day goes. This is taking a new turn. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I am going to pull the boat <laughs> to the water point and fill her up and then pull her back to my spot because this is a good spot with solar, um, which would be good for charging the batteries as the engine's not going to be able to charge. And yeah, I'll show you what I need to do. Around the corner just there beep, is the water point, maybe about... I don't know, 10 more meters, 20 more meters. I need to get around this boat, which is gonna be interesting. But I'm gonna hold on to the center line, which is here. Put some gloves on, cause I'm gonna be doing a lot of pulling. Um, and then basically walk her like a dog to the water point. <laughs> here we are, walking her along. <laughs> this is so funny. Coming up to our first obstacle to get around. She's going pretty wide, which is good. She was uh, heading a little bit too far over in that direction, so I've slowed her down and I'm pulling her in now so she doesn't go into the trees or get grounded. And now I'm gonna walk along these gunnels here on the side of this boat. Not too sure what I'm gonna do about that one. Come on, doggy. Whoa, whoa. Good girl, you're such a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, I see the water point. Yay, I made it. Right, where were we? Yes, that's right, water. Before you ask, I have no idea how big my tank is. I only know when I'm on empty because the sound the water pump makes that pumps the water into the pipes. Some boats you can actually see into the tank to check the water level. Often service points have all the services like waste removal, etc. And sometimes it's just water. I pay the Canal and River Trust 90 pounds a month for my water, waste disposal, and the upkeep of the canals. 
This particular spot has two water points and I'm about to find out that the man who is filling up on the other water point is an absolute legend. The boating community is incredible, the most helpful, lovely bunch of humans you could meet. And this is one of them, my man Rob. Two lots of jump cables. <laughs> well, I thought yours is so dead, if I double the amperage, it might make it work better. Sweet. Alas, no luck. So Rob brought his boat over and we tried to jump it from the engine. And again, you could literally hear it growling, ready to go, but there was just not enough juice. And then Rob offered his spare starter battery to me. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, Robert! <laughs> I am just in awe of human beings. Honestly guys, there's so many incredible people out there, you know, like that are nice and kind and generous and loving and just want to help and be of service to people, you know, it's what we all want. We all want that connection, we all want that, we want to feel worthy and do lovely things and Robert, me, it's you, you're a lovely guy, thank you so much for uh, basically giving me a battery and helping me out and doing everything you went above and beyond to help me out today. Um, so I've managed to be able to get on my way. Oh. <laughs> um, and I'm now moving. I'm moving, I'm about to go into a bridge. Didn't think that was gonna happen earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna moor up and clear up, <laughs> tidy up, have a cup of tea and feel a little bit more in the awe of life. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Sleeping in my living room. Sofa bed, sofa bed, sofa bed. Thank you so much for watching again. I will see you next time. Bye bye for now. I'm going to sleep. Mm.